Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. This one is gonna be all about some beginner resources to get going, where you can go to learn, and hopefully there'll be some secret ones that you haven't seen before, and maybe some tips and tricks to minimize your time hunting for resources to learn. So let's go. Hey guys, so this video, I'm gonna go over some blogs and some write-ups and some other stuff that you can learn to get into bug bounties. There's a lot of people that talk about reading write-ups and that they learned by reading past reports and all this kind of stuff. And yes, you can go to Bug Crowd. Yes, you can go directly at HackerOne and you can scroll through the crowd stream, I think it's called on Bug Crowd and activity on HackerOne, but there's some better places to go look. And I just wanna run over those really quick. This should be a pretty short video. I compiled a list of some blogs that I think are worth checking out that I pulled from a bunch of different resources. I pulled from HackerOne leaderboards. I pulled from live hacking events at HackerOne, live hacking events at Bug Crowd, people that I know of, stuff that I've seen in other resources. And then that will all be in this blogs.txt file here for you guys. I'll link this GitHub repo in the description. But these are some ones that I think you should check out. Again, there's like almost 50 of them. You can probably find these in other places, but this is my compiled list of stuff that I have in my you know blogs folder up here. And then also in this repository for you guys, I go over bugbountyhunter.com, their disclosed listing. The reason why I go over this, and the reason why I would use this instead of maybe a hacktivity or the crowd stream is because the Bug Bounty Hunter platform, yes, it's a platform for training and you can get on and do Barker, and I recommend you do that if you can find the time, but this disclose page shows you all of this disclose reports, recently disclosed reports over here, but you can go by vulnerability type over here. You can you know, do the size of entries. You can search for stuff if you're looking for a specific thing. This is a really cool way. So if you're looking for you know, CSRF, here's all of your disclose reports. You can look at what they're most commonly disclosed on and that kind of thing. And this is a much more put together platform for me when I've been like picking through reports and trying to read reports than slowly scrolling through activity or slowly scrolling through CrowdStream and trying to find specific ones. Or I know like Pentester Land, I think had a list before, but this is like the most well thought out, put together list of disclosed reports I've ever seen. So go check it out if you're trying to learn something. If you wanna learn more about, you know, XSS, there's all these different XSS categories here. You can open them up, you can see all the disclosed reports. You can look at it by, you know, by program and their disclosed reports. You can look for ones like how much they were paid and stuff like that. There's a whole bunch of stuff you can do on this platform. I would highly recommend you check it out. And this is where I would go and this is where I do go to read disclosed reports and, and try and get up my knowledge that way. The other one I put here is Feedly. Actually, will give you a pretty decent stream of other bug bounty blogs that aren't, these are more kind of researcher specific. So they're actual people um, and not so much like overarching blogs, right? So like InfoSec write-ups is a cool one. This is in my other list that you'll see space recommends a person in my other list, but like asset notes blog is in here. I know integrity is in here. I think Synac is in here. There's like the bug bounty Reddit is in here. Detectify is in here. Port trigger research I do think is in the blogs.txt too. But these might be some more like just overarching like bug bounty blogs that aren't to a specific person and their specific findings um, that you could also go look at that just might build on this list of like specific people and their specific findings. Because these are like very well-known researchers that all have their own blogs and have findings and their techniques and some of that kind of stuff that I, that I would recommend going through because I do. But this Feedly list might have, again, like InfoSec write-ups is at the top, it's really popular, but I didn't put it in my list because it's just like, it does like hack the boxes, CTFs, it does a bunch of other things. Where this is basically just bug bounty hunter blogs. And then the other thing I wanted to shout out, and some of these are definitely overlapped with his, is Nahamsek, I think a couple months ago, updated his resources for beginners for bug bounty hunters, which is exactly what we're talking about. But his goes even further I just wanted to kind of go over the write-offs, write-ups, sorry, and the blogs, where he goes over a lot more stuff. So he goes over his own stuff up here, which I'd recommend you check out, but then he goes over blog posts and talks, books, setups, tools, lab testing environments, and a bunch of other stuff. If you're just looking for reading material, though, these first couple ones would be ideal from his. And then also any of these, a very high majority of these are also on, like, made my list too. 
but my list is just for like pretty much strictly reading and not even like books, but actually reading like other people's findings via disclosed reports or via blog posts is kind of mainly what I like to read. Not so much of like how to's and tutorials and stuff like that and more of like what actual people have been doing. So reading the disclosed reports, but this Nahamsek resources for bug bounty beginners is updated. I think it says like four months ago here, he did it on stream. And it's also a super cool thing to check out. I think I almost made it actually. I think he mentioned me in the stream when he was doing it. I think I almost made like the streamers list. I think that's on here, but uh, maybe next year. But anyway, I will drop, this will all be linked from a little repo I made in my GitHub. So I will drop this repo link in the description. Go check it out if you're interested in looking for cool blogs to dive into. If you're looking for this link here to get to Bug Bounty Hunter for the disclosed report section and look at some disclosed reports, or again, it also has the resource here for the Homsec. Otherwise, his repo, obviously, you can get there directly through his GitHub as well. That's really all I have for this video, guys. Just want to hop on here and drop some of the stuff. I'm diving into it. I think you should dive into it. And I think it will really help to see what some of these other people are doing out there in the wild to pop some big bounties. But that's all I have for this one. So I'll see you later, guys.